Alright, so apparently Elgato fucking hates me. Um, I've already made a detailed 30 minute worth of, like, tutorial for this, but it's whatever, I guess. Alright, uh, <laughs> good start, good start. Alright, what is going on, guys? It's Sage here, and I will show you guys how to make uh, cinematics on war maps. Um, if you guys have watched Green's, Red Green's uh, tutorial on how to make cinematics, I've, um, it's pretty easy, but he said that you can't do it on war maps, and this is how you do it, basically, okay? Um, I will put the links for Green's tutorial and another tutorial um, in the description. So there will be two links in the description on how to make cinematics other than war maps. Uh, so yeah, first things first, okay, you need to make this uh, class setup right here. I'll explain why later when we get into the game. Uh, just use airborne and energetic. I suggest just basically just run with your pistol. Yeah, All right. Airborne and energetic. That's the first thing. Okay, um, make that class. It'll help. Then go to settings. Go to graphics, uh, safe area, and make it as wide as possible. Make it maxed out. Go to settings and controls. I suggest going, uh, if you guys have any um, experience with um, cinematics, I personally don't really have that much uh, experience. But yeah, um, it's better when you have lower sensitivity to do it. Right, so after that, the uh, game itself. So go to mode, war, and uh, pick uh, whichever three maps you want. Let's start with breakout. I'm going to explain each of these maps um, as detailed and briefly as possible. Go to objective. Basically, um, make the objective op options to be as long as possible and make the capture time as fast as possible. So yeah, you will end up with this. You will end up with this. Uh, capture command post 30 minutes 10 seconds uh, enabled disabled doesn't really matter bridge 30 minutes 20 seconds destroy ammo dump um, objective time 30 minutes 5 minutes 1 second 1 second then escort 30 minutes fastest uh, you can make it as disabled or slowest it depends on you if you, if you want to make like a tank um, cinematic you can put it to slowest or slower don't put it on slow basically it's just normal speed because normal speed is pretty fast in my opinion at least right so there's that if it seems a bit fast because I'm, I'm like I said uh, this it's fucking annoying to have Elgato fuck up um, just pause the video you know right and then go to general settings um, and go make the spectating into free spectating POV to free and that's it Spawn settings, you don't really need to mess around with this, you can make this as no respawn delay. And go to um, health and damage, do not even consider turning this on, okay? If you turn this on, it'll disable uh, spectators mode, right? And after that, even if you uh, turn it off later on, like if you disable it after you have enabled it, it will still for some reason will not give you the spectating mode. I hope that makes sense. So yeah, let's just jump into the game. See you guys in the game. All right, after the game is loaded up, you have to wait briefly about 20, 15 to 20 seconds. Basically, uh, after uh, the game's announcer talks or whatever, basically that's the go so that you can, you know, do the objective. Oh, hi, Kit Kat. Good job. You're in the video now. <laughs> All right, um, anyway. So now that you're here, you're forced to pick a class, right? Um, don't pick a class, okay? Just wait till the timer runs out. Uh, timer goes down, I'm sorry. Then wait for the guy to talk or whatever. There we go. All right, there we go. He's He said his shit. <laughs> and go back. Uh, just basically go back. Either it's X or circle. And then uh, don't pick a class yet. Go to... Okay, you can you can go back like see you can't really move you can only move the camera and if you go to spectator You can move now. Okay. All right, so this is annoying, right? This fucking 
objective marker will just make the cinematic look weird and you can't crop it out like i said you know hardcore doesn't doesn't um, make it go away and hardcore disables uh spectating so yeah what you want to do is go to whichever team is attack i think it's axis and pick the class that i told you to make beforehand all right oh wait it's not access fuck <laughs> all right uh all right there we go so basically go to the attacking side and capture the first objective and that will make it so that this uh capture marker gone okay that's the first part because it, it'll, it'll basically make it easier so like when i said make a class that you know with airborne and um what, what do you call it a hustler it basically makes it like you know you can run through the map easily and faster so that's what that's for and i suggest doing the bridge as well all right okay now that's done you will have one like really far away it won't really like you know mess around with that first spot of the map all right so go back to spectator and uh you will spawn right around here because you have done the first two objectives you can make a tank cinematic around here if you want like that like right around that i don't know just just make it i guess it's whatever you know oh fuck <laughs> i had a truck all right cool <laughs> okay go to where you want to record your uh cinematic and like i said okay if you guys have now watched uh green's tutorial on how to do this um so that objective marker is on the right side of the screen right now right so uh what you what you want is to make it so that the objective marker is not on top or right side of the screen because you will crop out that defend ammo dump or that objective meter and that spectating uh part at, at the bottom so basically you only need this part of the screen as i'm showing you right now in the editing okay so what you want to do is like make it as like i don't know make it like this i guess um i'm just going to like make a rough example just make it as um you know smooth as possible and it's not really that good because the objective marker is kind of in the middle part that's pretty much it there we go we got a cinematic next up is griffin um go to war maps and operation griffin now uh the same you go to the objective options and make it as long as possible and make it as fast as possible make sure the capture limit is on one on the steel tank fuel because you can basically do the objective really fast secure the bridge just make it as 30 minutes because this part here is where you want to make the cinematic i can't i can't talk i'm sorry all right i'll see you guys in the game all right we're on griffin now um like i said just wait until the announcer talks and basically on griffin it takes a bit longer because it actually needs to load the tank you can see at the bottom right here like behind uh the class setup there will be like a tank popping out right about now there we go see there's a tank there there's the announcer then there we go let's go back and then just go straight into the um attacking side you don't need to go to spectating yet because this is annoying you have three objective markers now and this part is actually pretty fame like you can actually hit a lot of clips in this first part for defending and or you know attacking as well so it's pretty hard to make a cinematic when there's three objective markers all right there we go now you just run towards um a because it's the fastest one um because we set it to one 
you only need to capture one. All right, so um, on this first part, okay, um, say you have a clip where the barrier, barricade, whatever this thing is called, is half built like this. Right, so say you have a, uh, you know, an objective, uh, uh, sorry, a clip where the, that part of the barricade is half built. Uh, you, if you want to make it as real as possible, you know, not as, like, not built like this, but half built like this in the cinematic as well. Build these barriers first then do the objective because if you do the objective first you can't build afterwards hope that makes sense right still these there we go and now you only have one which is the tank for some reason he okay anyway go to the spectator now you spawn pretty far away um now you can actually go back to the first part of the map and do your um cinematics and like i said the objective marker you need to you know look out for that because it's going to be annoying it's going to be like all over the place if you're not at the right spot so yeah uh you can make it like i don't know around here i guess just, just make a cinematic around here see like i said that's like on the right side of the screen then make it like at the bottom right there just go down there i guess just just make it as smooth as possible. It's kind of slow, I'm sorry, but for video's sake, I'm making it slow. It's pretty It's pretty stupid, it's pretty bad, but you know, it's whatever, I guess. So yeah, uh, that's uh, that's pretty much it for Griffin. Um, you can go back to the last part as well. You don't really need to push this far at all, but you can if you want to, if, if it bothers you. Because most of these parts of the map kind of... It's pretty hard if you have the objective marker like really far off like that. You can't make a reverse cinematic if that makes sense. So like... It's kind of hard but yeah. You, you can you can make it like this you now. Make it like this I guess. That works. whatever yeah that, that makes sense yeah that, that, that was pretty good <laughs> all right uh that's pretty much it for griffin and let's go to the last map which is neptune all right again with neptune um go to the objective options make it as long as possible and make the capture time as fast as possible all right we've put it up inside neptune and okay that sounds pretty wrong like the previous maps wait for the announcer to talk you can see it in the overview as well. Just wait for it. There we go. All right. Um, for this part, you need to m do the objective as fast as possible. Cause you you, ju you just can't make the cinematic when these two objective markers are there. You you just can't. It's almost impossible. Except for some reason, if you want to like make the make cinematics on like these explosions or like the sea or whatever and uh the same with griffin uh build first then do the objective it's oh my god it's actually really hard with three sensitivity oh and you need to get the uh care package as well because if it's not it will stay on the radar or the the screen yeah just take that here we go. Like, I'll just do uh, the first ladder on A. I won't do the ladder on B. There's a ladder right there. But basically, it's pretty self explanatory if you want to do that. Just, like I said, build first, then capture. Because you can't, you can't build after you capture. Okay? There's A gone, and then there's B, capture B. All right, there we go, now that that's done, you only have one cap uh, objective marker right around there, and then go to change team and go to spectator. And that's how you do Neptune, guys. Here we go. 
and because it's pretty far away it's actually kind of small so like if it's on the right side of the screen you won't really notice it and if you make it you know if, if you make the cinematic it won't really decrease the quality if you would if you would I don't know yeah so basically you can make the cinematic right here you can do whatever you want whatever yeah basically whatever all right so basically that's pretty much it um i'm not gonna show you guys how to make it on vegas or after effects because uh it will be on the link that i will put in the description um to green's tutorial and the other link so yeah uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna put example cinematics that I've gotten From recording these it's not gonna be the best, but I tried So yeah, uh, leave a like hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. It's been sage and I'll see you guys later